James Vandenberg, Iowa quarterback. You're in Cedar Rapids on, here today on Thursday to speak to a group. Why, uh, how is it that you're now a public speaker? Um, well, I'm actually an intern with the U of I Foundation, um, something that kind of came up right before the summer where an opportunity opened, and uh, I, I knew it was going to be a good opportunity. I've got to meet a lot of cool people. I've been to a bunch of I clubs and golf outings and a bunch of events like this, so I've got to travel the state a little bit and meet a lot of really nice people that support the University of Iowa and um, surrounding communities like this. What is it that you're going to tell kids today? Uh, just a lot about um, my educational background, how important I know it is. Um, congratulate them, of course. I mean, that's an awesome thing they're receiving, and uh, it's a great jump start in their college careers. Um, I mean, education is a huge thing for me, and it always has been growing up. And I mean, it still is in college. It gets a little harder when you're playing football with it, but uh, it's something I take really seriously. So I just pass that message on for them to take it as seriously. As the now the number one quarterback at Iowa, that comes with a lot of things, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it's definitely a little different. I get to talk to the media a little more than I used to, but um, it's something I've been looking forward to for a long time and a challenge I'm ready to accept. What, by the end of the coming season, would you like to be able to say? Just that I played up to my potential level. I know um, getting to play those three games a couple of years ago, I, I didn't play as good as I could have a lot of times, and, and I was young and inexperienced, whatever you want to call it, I just I didn't play as good as I know I can. So um, just preparing myself so I can play at the level that I know I can play at to not hinder any of my teammates that have already played a year or two. You're on a team that was, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say burdened, but there were a lot of great expectations last year. This year, it sounds like around the Midwest and around the country, Iowa is just a, a footnote. Is, mm -hmm. uh, is that something that you guys like? Yeah, I mean, we don't really look into the media predictions. Um, we look at it as we, we lost a lot of good players last year, and that was seen in the NFL draft um, with a bunch of guys getting drafted, and those guys had been familiar faces for a while now. So um, what people don't know is we have a lot of people waiting right in the wings that haven't been able to kind of show their talents because of those talented players in front of them. So there's been a lot of battles going on this spring and this summer and this fall. So um, I think we're all really looking forward to seeing what new guys kind of pop through. You're them. going to be surrounded by some proven talent on offense, though, aren't you? No, yeah. I mean, I'm going to have a great O-line in front of me, a bunch of returning guys, um, with Coker back there, and then I mean, with McNutt and Keenan and Herman, all guys that have played a lot. So, What do you do this summer? to get better as a football player? Well, we, we work out a lot doing speed and conditioning and uh, lifting weights, and then we'll get into a skills and drills period. We'll, we'll do a bunch of functional seven-on-sevens um, once or twice a week, just getting in the flow of the offense with the receivers. And then, I mean, August 5th is going to be here before we know it, and that's when camp starts. So that's when it gets real serious. How much fun is it going to be for you? Oh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's going to be – It'll be really exciting. It's something that I mean I've waited for for a couple of years now, and I mean it's been my ultimate goal to play in the Big Ten and play at Iowa. So it's something that I mean it's going to be a dream come true. James Vandenberg, thanks a lot. Thank you.